Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland for Graphic in Motion. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and thank you very much for purchasing the template if you already did so. If not, I really can recommend to do that because I think that this template is pretty amazing. So I will just give you a short introduction on how to use it. At first we will take a look on how this template is built. If you open up the project file you should see something like this. There are two compositions already open. The first one is the render composition. This is the compositions where all the scenes are located and which you can render out uh, after your customization. The second one, which is already open, is the really amazing one, I think. And this is the style composition. What you can do in this style composition is to change the style of the whole project. As you probably saw in the preview video, I included four different style presets and now I will show you how you can change them. The first thing you realize is that the green preset is the only one activated. So if you want to change it for example to the blue preset, you just have to activate the blue preset and deactivate the green one. And now you can go back to the render comp and check what's happening. Everything updates and the colors are now blue. The other presets are the red preset, activate it, deactivate the other one, which makes it look like this. And the fourth preset is the multicolored one. And I also added two textures here to make it look like a paint. And if you go back here, then you see this is the style that we're getting here. What you could do here also is to import your own stuff and create your completely unique look. And this is pretty amazing because you can upload any texture, any picture, uh, you can draw something in Photoshop, you know, you can uh, even upload videos, then everything you see here on the frames and also in the background, the flares will just change color if you, for example, put in some nice animation. I will just give you one example and how to bring in a texture or a picture here. You can double click on the project window to open up your import dialog and then we could move to a folder where we find some nice pictures. I will do that quickly. And I have some random abstract beaches here. Let's say I want to use this one for now and I open it up and I just drag it on top in this composition and I can disable everything below it. Go back to my render comp and you see now it's updated. What you also could do, of course, you could put in some uh, effects here and animate something, you know, I don't know, let's say I take the mosaic effect if I want to have some stripes or whatever, I put it on our background and let's say I just want them to be zero and I want them to increase and I want the sharp colors. Okay, that doesn't look that nice. Let's make it like this. Yeah, that's better. And of course, if I would like, I could animate this or add whatever you want to, you know. Let's put in some warp effect. And really warp this around. You know, like probably like this. And we could of course animate this, you know, what I will not do now. And if you go back to the render comp, you see now you have this amazing style. So that's the part where you really can be creative, where you really can start to create your own look. And I think that this is a pretty unique way of styling a complete video. Well, the other things you can do are pretty basic. You can, of course, as always, import your own footage and you can, of course, edit all the text in the template. To import footage, you just select the footage placeholders folder and open it and now you see here the 13 compositions where you can import your footage i will just select footage 3 here because we are already watching at this part of the animation and i double click to open it up and now you see that there are two layers this is just placeholder layers you could just remove them after importing your footage or disable them so let's say that I also want to import my abstract balls wallpaper. You know, of course you can import your stuff, your videos and photos by just double clicking in the project file or navigating to 
file import import file and then search whatever you want i will not do that i will just use the abstract balls wallpaper now put it on top here and you see that now it's a little bit too big because the resolution for the footage is a little bit smaller so i will just scale it that it fits in and i can go back to the render comp now and now i have my footage here now i just want to show you how you can edit this text here and therefore i just open up this folder it's the titles placeholders folder and inside here you find any title that you can edit and this is uh, footage number three so i have to open up the title footage number three composition by double clicking on it and now i can see the text here to customize it i just have to double click it and now i can write in something let's say customize style easily and just click away and go back to the render comp and now you see that the text uh, updated i just want to show you another part of the animation uh, the first four parts which are these scenes one to four are these intro texts you probably saw them also in the preview video where you have only texts to edit and let's say we want to edit this third one here i will just search a frame where we can see the text better so that you can see what i'm what i'm doing let's take this and therefore we go to the title four composition double click to open it up i'm not sure whether i'm in the right place now no it's not the right place i'm in the scene three so i have to open up the title three double click on it yes now i'm there and what you can see here i will just increase the resolution a little bit is that i put in some ruler marks just to give you a kind of orientation how big your text should be and how it should be lined up when you go into the render comp you see how i orientated them and just that it matches together with the background and all the elements in the scene. So I would recommend that you more or less stick to these rulers. It don't have to be precise. You can also play around here, but I just wanted to give you some kind of orientation. So the same customization as in the other title works here too. You just double click on the text you want to edit and then you enter your text. Please rate when oops when you buy that's always what i want to tell my customers please rate the template when you buy it and you see everything is updated now well i want to give you one more hint now for this template it is quite intensive to render you know there is a lot of 3d motion lights shadows distortions and especially the motion blurs. So if you have a slower machine like a dual core, you have to calculate a few hours of render time for this project. I calculated it once with a dual core machine and it took about six hours. So please be aware of that if you purchase this template, that it is a little bit intensive for your machines and just calculate a little bit more time for rendering it i think that it really pays out because it is quite an awesome template if you have any more questions then feel free to drop me a mail through my video hive profile otherwise i just wish you a lot of fun with the template and i hope to see you next time bye